Hi guys, so I am by no means a hair expert, but a couple people have asked me how I either curl my hair or style it in a pony. So I am going to basically give you an insight on how I do my hair in my tutorials called On Air Hair. Okay, so today I am going to do a beach wave look, um, which I basically just call wild child hair. Um, more untamed curls. I use a curling iron. Um, if you have thinner hair, you can probably get away with using a straightener. I have very thick hair though, so I use an inch and a quarter inch barrel. Um, I My hair stays relatively well, so I don't use hairspray. Um, but if you have trouble keeping your hair in a curl, I suggest using a sea salt texturizing spray. Um, or um, just a normal hairspray. I use this big and sexy um, texturizing spray at the end, so I do throw some of that in there after. Um, but basically, if you have to throw some hairspray in, um, kind of just spray it in before you start curling, and we'll get started. Okay, so I have to section off my hair because I have a ton of it. Um, if you have a lot, a lot of hair, I suggest doing three sections. Um, I just do two and take smaller pieces. Okay, so basically to start, um, I alternate with pieces, um, and I take relatively small pieces. I have a lot of hair, so they're not that small, but, um, the first piece I do typically goes back. I curl about from halfway down up, let it sit a little. Okay, and then when you go to pull it out, um, you do this like untwisting thing so this piece is pulled straight. And then I go to the bottom, leaving about an inch out of the curling iron, and then I curl back up and then pull through again. Um, and you will get this kind of more strung along curl. And then once you go all the way through, that'll be how it is. Okay, so like I said, I have a lot of hair, so I do two, a top and a bottom piece going to the back. And then um, I basically alternate. So I'll do two to the back and then I'll curl um, two small pieces towards the front. And what I mean by that is instead of having the curling iron facing this way so my curls are going that way, I clip it backwards so now they'll go towards my face. And the same thing. Now, if you want super dramatic curls, um, obviously keep the heat on them longer. That'll keep the curls a little tighter. Um, if you're looking for just a really mellow beach look, uh, you wouldn't have to hold the curling iron on there for too long. The curls will just be more of an effortless, <laughs> messy look. And now I go to the other side. Which for me, the right side of my head has way more hair than the left. So, this side takes well. Okay, so sometimes if a piece gets too curly, once I'm done, I'll just pull it tight. All right, so, so far, this is kind of what we look like. And now I'm going to do All right, so also the secret to getting more mellow beach waves is when you're doing the bottom half, don't start the curl so close to, um, you know, midway on your head. Start them lower so that way when you do the top half, the top curls sit a little more mellow. Um, if you go really high on that bottom layer, the curls on top of it are also gonna be as big and then you would have 
huge fluffy hair. Now, if you're going for that look, then yes. Okay, so back to my the right side of my head being a lot thicker than the left. On these, I kind of have to split into two layers. The goal with beach waves is you want smaller pieces because it's easier to pull the hair tight but still get that curl. Um, if you do really thick chunks, it won't look the same. Um, tip for the pieces that surround your face, don't go too high up or else you will have little ringlet curls. Plus, by the time your hair relaxes, you want that first little divot to be kind of below your jawline. Um, so you gotta find that sweet spot. Okay, so once you've finished curling all around the head, I suggest hairspraying if you need it. Now, um, this is a more relaxed beach wave look, um, but I'm gonna go up and go ahead and touch up some of these pieces. So, for example, um, I'll go ahead and take really tiny little pieces so that way I can go back over and the top curl is really high up. This adds kind of volume and dimension to the curls. So again, I won't do a lot of pieces, but I'll do um, a couple that way they can stand out kind of add a little more volume okay so the last step is teasing and spraying so again I use um, big sexy hair uh, it's literally called what a tease back comb in a bottle and it is magic So this stuff is really sticky, so you have to be careful. Um, but go ahead and just do a little tease. And kind of just comb over all this wild stuff. Okay, this is why I call it wild child hair, because it literally looks like wild child um, and then I just use either defrizzing serum or a smoothing serum uh, to smooth out the curls um, because nobody likes frizzy hairs on air <laughs> and okay so pretty much this is the finished look um, hairspray it however you need to stay um, if you want a little more volume very mellow hair whip <laughs> and this is my beach wave look um, I like this because it looks good while it's still parted or if you get annoyed with your hair like I do later in the day. Um, I'm somebody who likes to flip my hair over and because we did those alternating curls on each side, it kind of works for either side. But that is my on-air hair beach wave look and thanks for watching.